Okay, so this is the prerequisite video to lowest common multiple and the highest common factor. So you should watch this video first before you have a go at the LCM and, and HCF. Okay, so you should know how to define each of these keywords. So if you don't, pause the video, write the keywords down and write the meaning of each of the keywords. Okay, so pause the video now. Okay, so a prime number is a number only divisible by itself and one such that the factors are distinct and distinct means different so for instance one is not a prime number because the factors are not distinct so let's have a look at the prime numbers okay so two is a prime number because one times two three is a prime number one times three four is not a prime number because it has two multiplied by 2 and 1 times 2. So 4 is definitely not a prime number. 5 is a prime number because it only has two distinct factors. 1 and 5. 6 is not a prime number because we've got 2 times 3 one and 1 times 6. Okay, so see if you can write the next prime number after 5. Okay, so the next prime number after 5 is 7 because it only has two factors. Okay, so a factor, which you should already have written down, a factor of a number a factor of a number divides that number and leaves no remainder. For example, 4 is a factor of 12 because 12 divided by 4 is 3 and we have remainder 0. 6 is a factor of 60 because 6 60 divided by 6 is 10 remainder 0. Okay a multiple A multiple is an integer multiplication of a number. So 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2, 4 times 2, 5 times 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. These are all multiples of 2. And index form means writing numbers as a power. So, for example, we can write 1, 2, 4, 9, and 16 in index form. Okay, if we, we can write 2, which is 2 to the 1, 2 to the squared, 3 to the squared, 4 to the squared. Okay, so our, our power is here. This is called the power 
or sometimes index. This is the base. Okay, so let's have a look at drawing some factor trees of some numbers. Okay, so you may already be able to do this. And let's work, let's work in red. So let's have a look at two examples. Let's do 12 and let's do 15. Okay, so um, I normally like to go in uh, dividing twos on the left hand side. So if we divide 12 by two, we get six. And we do two times three. Let's circle the prime numbers. Two is a prime, two is a prime, and three is a prime. So we can write 12 as two times two times three. We can write the two as two squared times three. And there's a theorem that every number can be written as a product. Okay, so two times three this is a product. Um, every number can be written as a product of prime factors. So 6 written as a product of prime factors is 2 times 3. 12 written as a product of prime factors is 2 squared multiplied by 3. Okay, so pause the video and see if you can write 15 as a product of prime factors. Okay, so I hope you've done that now. 2 doesn't divide into 15 to give a whole number so we can do three times five and we can't divide anymore okay if we divide in more we just get one times three we just repeat ourselves okay so hopefully you were able to write 15 as 15 multiply 15 is equal to three times five as a product of prime factors. Okay, so let's have a look at three more examples and you can pause the video to see if you can get these. Okay, so let's do, oof, um, let's do 50, let's do 75 and let's do 150. So you can pause the video, see if you can write these as products of prime factors using factor trees. Okay, so hopefully you've done that now. Uh, so 50, we can divide by 2 to get 25. We can divide by 5. Okay, so let's circle the prime numbers. And we can write 50 as 2 times 5 times 5, which is 2 multiplied by 5 squared. And you may have done it a different way. You may have said, well, 50 is the same as 10 times 5. And you might have circled this and said well 10 is the same as 2 times 5 2 times 5 and circle this and you get the same answer you get 50 is equal to 5 squared times 2 so you can do these factor trees in a different way I suggest you keep the twos on the left hand side because I just think that makes it much much easier okay so 75 uh it doesn't divide by two so we can say five let's go to that dot five times 15 and then you can do Three times five again. Okay, so circle the primes. Prime, prime, prime. And get 75 is equal to three multiplied by five squared. 
And then let's do 150 very quickly. We can do, let's do six times 25. Then we can do two times three. Then we do five times five. Okay, so let's circle the prime numbers. So we can get 150 is equal to two times three times five times five, which is two times three times five squared. And you can check to see if you write five squared is 25, three times 25 is 75, two times 75 is 150. Okay, so you could have done it that way. My personal way of doing these is to keep the twos on the left hand side. So two times 75, then you can do three times 25, then five times five. Circle the primes. And you can write 150 is equal to the temperamental 150 is equal to two times three times five times five two times three times five squared. And we can check five squared is 25. 25 times three is 75. 75 times two is 150. Okay, so let's finish off and do two more examples. Let's do 1,500 and let's do 2,000. Okay, so pause the video and see if you can do this. Okay, so using my preference, keeping twos on the left-hand side, we've got two multiplied by 750. We've got two multiplied by three, seven, five. Then let's do, let's do 25, 12 multiplied by 18. Okay, let's just double check that. So we got 25 times 18. Okay, so. Mistake three seven five divided by twenty five. Okay, fifteen. And we got five times five and three times five. Okay, so let's circle the primes. Prime, 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 prime. Okay, so we can write 150 is equal to, okay, so let's do this straight off then. We've got one, two, two, so that gives two squared, multiplied by three, multiplied by five squared. So let's check this on our calculator then. So we've got two squared times three times five squared should give 1,000. Okay, so it's a good job we checked that. So this should be cubed. This should be cubed because there's three fives. Okay, so let's do that then. Two squared times three times five cubed. Okay, so we get 1,500. Okay, so slightly easier one. Let's do two times 1,000. Two times 500. Let's do 
2 times 250. Let's do 2 times 125. And let's do 5 times 25. Then we've got 5 times 5. Let's circle the primes. Prime, 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 prime. And hopefully you can see that we've got 2,000. Okay, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 to the 4 multiplied by 5 to the 1, 2, 3. Okay, so let's check to see if that's right. We've got 2 to the 4 multiplied by 5 to the 3. And that gives 2,000. Okay, so hopefully this prime factor decomposition uh, video was helpful.